I always think there's something very special about taking the ferry across to Ardnamurkin. It may only be a little journey across the Corrin Narrows, but it just makes it feel special. And this was an adventure I was looking forward to. Hence the canoe, the inflatable kayak, and four mountain bikes. We really were ready for adventure. As soon as we got to the accommodation, I set the hide up hoping to photograph Pine Martin. I spent nine hours in that hide in the early morning because our trail cam showed that that's when they tended to appear. And this was the only image I managed to get. However, there was far more to this trip than Pine Martins. In fact, the real star was much, much bigger. But as soon as we got to the site, we set about exploring. The accommodation is right at the edge of a fantastic bay. So we set about pulling the canoes across to go and explore. This was quite hard work and with quite a large bank at the end. What I didn't realise was my young son got into the boat just as I was about to pull the canoe down the bank. Done with style. But soon we're on the water, exploring. This is a very, very tidal bay. In fact, one of our trips we planned to, to go out on um, failed miserably when we discovered there was no water within a mile and a half of our accommodation. However, in the evenings we did manage to get out and this was the first day. I'd spotted a boat that I wanted to try and photograph and also to get sort of back into the swing of things, back into the paddle. So set out and enjoyed exploring and heading under a bridge to photograph this lovely little blue small fishing boat really photo bombed by my sons so we got a few images and headed back again exploring this wonderful bay the sea really did dominate this trip we did some really good mountain bike rides as well but it was our time on the water that we enjoyed the most We also explored Loch Moidart. This is a truly wonderful place to explore on a boat. Underneath the castle, in deep waters with massive jellyfish, great views and lots of wildlife seen. It was a truly special way to spend some time. We also took the boat directly from the accommodation out to a wonderful beach known as Singing Sands. This is a, a great remote spot that we've mountain biked to in the past, but getting there by boat just made it even more exciting. And from Singing Sands, we can see over to the Small Isles. And I have to say, I do love the Small Isles, particularly the little Isle of Muck, which I've actually camped on before. It's a magical place. And this was to give us the most incredible encounter on the entire trip. Right, so I'm just on the Island Muck, I've just come over on the sheer water. On the way over it was quite grey and gloomy, but nice and still. We managed to spot a group of three porpoise to start off with. Then just outside the harbour here we ran into a minky whale, which gave me probably the best views I've ever had of one. Um, I've seen them breach before, which was amazing, but this one was just next to the boat, it was fantastic. We just come over on a, a day trip over to Muck and I'm um, about to set off now. So here are some of the photos from the trip over and um, see what we see on the way back. The sheer water is supposed to be a ferry. However, the crew are keen to look out for whales and dolphins and any other marine life. And you can always tell when something's been seen as the boat does an apparent handbrake turn giving you some amazing views. Along my many trips I've never seen anything like this. This minky whale put on a real show as we were heading into the, into the harbour. 
absolutely amazing to see especially with the backdrop and the fact that you actually got to include the island behind The journey in had been fantastic, but I knew there was likely to be more to come as the crew had been watching and seen that the animal and a large number of porpoise were still in the area. So I set the GoPro up on the top of my 300mm lens so that I could record the activity on the way out. So this is basically some film I managed to grab that I'll show you with the photos. I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with my GoPro. It tends to turn itself on, record for hours whilst I'm not expecting it to. So when I come to film something as wonderful as this, there's never any battery or memory left on the card. But I set it onto the top of the camera to allow me to photograph at the same time. And boy was it amazing. This is one of the, the close-up dive sequences showing the animal come to the surface take a breath and then this giant body you know this is a small whale compared to things like fin whale that i've seen before and humpbacks but it still was an impressive beast several meters long probably about 10 meters this one it was wonderful to see And while it dipped below the surface, things were to get even better. You see, sometimes an animal can take an interest in you. And this one decided to start swimming in figures of eight, actually exploring and having a look around the boat. I mean, I've seen whales all over the world. I've seen a wide range of species. But to actually see one come and obviously have a look at you, it was magical. I mean, I've only ever seen those white pectoral flashes on the fins when one has leaped out the air, so to have them just under the boat was amazing. As I say, it carried on doing this figure of eight around the boat, giving us views as it swam away, and then quickly returned. It couldn't have been any better. I mean, it was a calm sea, beautiful day, and a minky whale that was as interested in us as we were in it. Just doesn't get any better. Or maybe it does. So the animal started swimming away and everybody started to relax on the boat. However, it obviously had other plans and wanted to see us a bit better. So we quickly realised it was turning round and heading back to the boat. Absolutely stunning. I wish I'd had the polarizer on here because it perfectly swam underneath us on its side looking up at us. A wonderful way to spend a day. So eventually we had to return home because the boat was very late at this point having spent a long time watching the whale. So we bade it farewell before heading back with quite a few porpoises seen until we got to the sheltered waters around Arisake. This is a beautiful place that's well worth exploring. What a fantastic trip. 
Oh Scotland, how I love you. Please remember to like and subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for watching and thank you Minky Whale, that really made our holiday.